So it's our first full day here in Seattle and it also happens to be Mother's Day. So we're celebrating moi. We're gonna go check out some of the local restaurants and coffee shops at Pike Place Market and we're seeing tons of lines everywhere. So we're hoping that we don't have to wait too long to get a bite to eat, but let's go check it out. probably think of the famous fish talk and that happens right here behind us at the Pike Place Fish Market. Let's go see some fish get thrown. There's so many people here right now. It is Mother's Day, so it's extra crowded. Every place that's on our list has a huge line. So um, right now we're gonna head over and get some clam chowder. Hopefully there's not a huge line on that earlier. There wasn't, um, but it is a little later in the day or in the morning. So we're gonna go check that out right now. So as expected, there was a line at Pike Place Chowder. So right now we're gonna look for a different place to eat. And there's this restaurant I've been eyeing since yesterday called Turkish Delight. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Hopefully there's no line there because we're starving. It's lunchtime, Mother's Day 2022. Let's go. As you head a little bit out of Pike Place Market, you'll find a lot more restaurants and the wait is not too bad. There's only one person in front of us. So this is where we're gonna get lunch and take it back to our hotel. So looks like Maddie just fell asleep. So we're definitely taking our food back to the hotel and we're gonna put her down for the rest of her nap in a nice comfy bed. Ooh, look at that. Dang, let's go. Okay. So we're heading back to the hotel right now. We're gonna go eat our food over there, Pike Place super busy right now it's mother's day so um we're just gonna go to the room and relax for a little bit madison's taking a nap got our turkish food haven't had that yet in life so super excited to try that out for the first time earlier we tried some piroshkis or however you say it i don't know i probably butchered it <laughs> don't hey don't drop that please don't drop that <laughs> that's uh, cheddar jalapeno Can I try it? Yummy. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> is that a sequel? So a lot of the really popular restaurants have long lines to go inside and place your order. So Justin stood in line at Parashkis and I stood in line at Beecher's and we conquered two restaurants at once. So we have two different things to eat for breakfast and we're not gonna eat too much because we still need to go get coffee and try a couple other uh, restaurants on our list. So. First, we are going to eat the Parashkis. Hey, Maddie. <laughs> and we're gonna eat the bretzel and mac and cheese. We picked up their world famous mac and cheese and we also got a bretzel. So we're gonna give these ones a try. Mmm, this is really good. So I have this Parashki and this bretzel from Beecher's. And it's both a lot of bread. I think I like this one better. Never had a parashi before, but this thing's off the hook. Stay away! This is our spot. <laughs> I think it's his too. <laughs> it's really easy to just keep eating and getting full, but you gotta pace yourself. Um, the market's pretty big. There's a ton of, a ton of different restaurants and you wanna try a lot of them. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try a bunch of different foods. We're gonna try to walk it off as we go. So right now, 
Um, we're going to go check out uh, a couple coffee spots and uh, we'll see you. So we've been walking around trying to find a coffee place and there are lines everywhere for every restaurant, every coffee shop. And we finally came across Miss Cafe and Justin ordered a Turkish coffee and I ordered a hot chocolate. So we're going to wait for our drinks and then go do some more walking. Mmm, hot chocolate. There are tons of good coffee places here in Seattle, but obviously Starbucks originated here in Seattle. Starbucks is Starbucks anywhere in this country, so I mean, if you really want to stand in this line just to get the same cup of coffee you can get in your hometown, feel free. So right next to Starbucks is this little place called Chocolate and Ice Cream Delight. We're going to get our coffee from here. So we got our Turkish coffee earlier from Miss Cafe and now I have a lavender cappuccino from Chocolate and Ice Cream Delight. <laughs> So we're staying at the Warwick Hotel for three nights and it's just a couple blocks from Pike Place Market. It's still in a really good location, but there is one thing, we have hills to do. <laughs> the hill out of Pike Place is super steep. Hills on hills on hills. <laughs> so it rains in Seattle 370 out of the 365 days, but for the last day and a half, we've been blessed with sunshine. It is super chilly though. Um, <laughs> I hate the cold. I'm a tropical person. Do you see how thin my sweater is? It's fine. She loves the cold. I, she loves the cold, hates the heat, and I'm the total opposite. I like the heat, hate the cold. Born in the Philippines, so. I'm tropical. No, I'm sorry. We're starving, so we're gonna eat our lunch. We got the kebab sandwich, the lamb combo platter, and for dessert, we have two baklavas. We have pistachio and walnut. That's Daddy's cart for Mommy for Mother's Day. Don't break, don't rip it. No, 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 let's see. Wow, it really made us feel like home. It's a beautiful Seattle day. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to the Space Needle right now. And it's such a beautiful day. So we chose the perfect day of our vacation to do the Space Needle. So let's hit the road, Jack. We're walking to the Space Needle from our hotel. It's only half a mile. Um, we don't have a car seat for Madison, so we can't take a cab, but it's only half a mile. We need the exercise anyways, because for the next 10 days, we're going to be eating a lot of food in our, in this vacation that we're currently on. So one thing that we are really emphasizing is walking. We have to walk everywhere. If it's not too far, walk it. Try to avoid elevators if possible. Try to take the stairs. Thankfully, there are elevators to easily get around your strollers or wheelchairs. That's just a little a &J health tip for the day. And did we mention how beautiful the weather is today? This is crazy because, you know, Seattle rains here all the time, but sun's out. The gun still ain't out, though. <laughs> it's a little chilly, bruh. The cool looking shot. Oh. Pit stop. So we had a quick pit stop. I got a cappuccino with hazelnut and let's hit the road back on our way to the space needle. Double shot espresso for me. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 
I burned my tongue. We're at the Space Needle, but before we go up there, we're gonna let Madison run around a little bit here in this park right across the street from the Space Needle. Madison's doing a little photo shoot right now. You little pretty girl. Little pretty girl. Maddie. done running around on the grass so we're gonna go buy our tickets they're $35 each and Maddie is free so let's go get our tickets of the Space Needle right now and the views are spectacular and when we were here six years ago it didn't have all of this glass enclosure it was like wire and you can like stick your hand through um, but this is really cool because you can lean back and feel like you're hanging out on the ledge and so for now we're just gonna hang out up here and soak in the fact that we have amazing weather it's not cold it's not raining and it's not foggy, so we have some really cool views. So, take a look. No, when I first stepped on the glass and looked down, like my stomach was like, it's like no. I know. I thought about you. Like I want to do it. And I was like, just do it because there's some kids in here. And if these kids can do it, then I guess I can do it. <laughs> She's just, she's not scared of anything. She's going so careful, babe. Like, are you going super duper careful? So that's a wrap for the Space Needle. Super fun, seeing all the views up there. We had great weather, so. Now it's on to the next challenge, probably the final challenge of the day um, is to find some food. We're super hungry from all the walking we've been doing all day. So um, it's probably not going to be a very difficult challenge. Seattle's full of good restaurants, great food everywhere. So it's just a matter of picking which one. So, hey, we'll let you know, let you know what we pick. So 
right now. We have a couple more blocks to go till we get into the vicinity of our hotel. And whatever restaurant we pass, that looks good. We're gonna stop, get some food, and maybe some drinks. I think we've earned it. So this pizza place called Serious Pie, which is right down the street from our hotel, has an hour and a half wait. So what the reception guy told us to do was to just go to their takeout table, order takeout, and eat it out their window, and they'll even give us a high chair. So, so we don't have to wait an hour and a half. Yo quiero agua. You drinking water with a spoon? Me da? Yes, our child eats really good. <laughs> she loves salad. Oh, not that one. That was a radish. <laughs> Got the IPA. Why but I can't drink right first? now because Amanda's drink is still not here and we have to toast before we take a sip. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. My second Mother's Day. This one's in Seattle. So here's to me and to all the mamas out there. We work hard, we play hard, and we're bosses. <laughs> <laughs> she sure we is are. a boss. That is delicious. I've never had a kiwi margarita. I've tried many flavors because I'm such a margarita girl, but I've never had a kiwi margarita. So that was really good. So we got this pizza, I got asparagus on it, prosciutto, some cheese. Super good. I was kind of skeptical at first, like, because I wanted a combination pizza, but it's actually really good. So yesterday, Mother's Day, ended on a really difficult note. We went to eat dinner at a pizza place right down the street from our hotel called Serious Pie. I'm so upset right now. When we got here, we asked for a high chair from Madison. And they or the lady at the front that we put in our order with recommended we do a high chair or a booster seat and said like your child's like if she sits in a high chair she won't reach the table blah 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 we kind of went back and forth for a little bit but ultimately she just said no i recommend the booster seat so i said okay like justin and i will be on both sides of her so we got through dinner and i stood next to her the entire time we ate and then I looked away for a second and she managed to tip over, hit her head, her whole side of her left face on the floor. I mean, she went, she fell from barstool height to the ground and it was just heartbreaking and it was so emotional. I was crying because she was just in tears and she was in so much pain and right away her face was just swollen and it was just really frustrating and sad. And as a parent, you never want to see your children hurt. And knowing that this probably could have been prevented. Um, I mean, from here we can just, you know, take it as a lesson learned. Do not use a booster seat on a high chair or a chair that doesn't have sides to keep it enclosed. Um, the restaurant saw what happened. They called over, you know, a paramedic. And so four paramedics showed up and they took a look at Madison and they basically said that um, she was okay, but you know, if she had any symptoms like throwing up or just not being herself, then to take her to the emergency room. And um, she was, she, you know, she was fine in the night. It's just today, you know, she now has a swollen face. So it's really, really sad to see. And um, we feel awful as her parents, but, um, all we can do is learn from this and just, you know, give her lots of attention and love and um, it sucks to see your child hurt. So uh, our lesson and our takeaway to you is don't use a booster seat unless it's in an enclosed chair. Um, you know, it's just a shame. So it was hard. It was a crappy end to my mother's day, but Madison's okay and we're okay and you know she's still her playful self so yeah that's how our Mother's Day ended. <laughs>